Hi, Tom Buglio, the manager of Taylor's Music Store, standing in the vertical piano room here at Taylor's Music Store in beautiful downtown Westchester. Today we're going to talk about the Kawai K-Series vertical pianos. Kawai's been making pianos for over 80 years and we feel they're making them better and better. And we're going to take a look at the inside of the piano so we can kind of show you some of the features that make them truly outstanding pianos. Kawai has won many awards in the industry over the years. And today we're going to take a look at the K200 series, which is their 45-inch studio piano. We're going to look at the K300 series, their professional studio piano. And we're going to look at the K500 series, which is their professional upright. And compare and contrast them. So let's get started. Let's start with seeing all the features that the Kawai K-Series has in common that have evolved over the years. First of all, they've developed a beautiful tone because they use high quality components. For example, the soundboard is made out of solid spruce wood and it's tapered so that it's thinner at the edges. They use a contour bar to reflect tone back to the center, the most sensitive part of the soundboard. And they use very high quality wool felt in the hammers, which has two layers, a red core and the white felt, which is T-stapled to make sure it doesn't come apart over the course of many years. In terms of durability, they have thick back posts. They have four back posts in the K200 series here. And inside the piano, we can see the inside of the K200 right here. What you can't see is the pin block. That's a layered section of wood that goes across here where the tuning pins are literally screwed in to that piece of wood behind the iron cast plate. Uh, the threaded tuning pins are threaded into an 11 layer pin block of hard rock maple wood that holds it nice and tight over the course of many years so the piano will hold a tune properly. In addition, these are nickel plated tuning pins to prevent rust. Now the area that has the most innovation is the key action. And when we talk about the key action, the keys themselves are made of wood, of course, but the action is where all the moving parts are. And we can see this model over here in more detail where we have an action that's called the Millennium Three action by Kawai, and it's, a, it's, it's very famous. This came out in 2005 and has been using the Kawai's ever since. The innovations over the years are a, an aluminum whipping rail, an aluminum back check rail, so the hammers always start from the same spot and it eliminates, in the, in the past, wooden rails that would warp. And uh, in, in the middle of the piano action, you'll notice there's a lot of black parts. Now, traditionally, and in most other pianos, these parts where the moving part and the action happens are made of wood. Well, the problem with wood, it's great for tone, but in terms of moving parts, Wood does expand and contract with it with the temperature and seasonal changes. So Kawai has been working with a composite action over the years and in 2005 they started infusing carbon fiber, which is a revolutionary material that's used in the space industry, it's used in the airline industry today, it's used in uh, golf clubs and tennis rackets. You probably have some carbon fiber in your, in your sporting equipment at home. Why is it used? Because it's very lightweight and extremely strong and totally resistant to temperature and humidity change. So we feel that this action, which is unique to Kawai, gives your piano a high performance engine that will be reliable 30 years from now as well as today. So let's take a closer look at the Kawai cabinet as well, the K200 and all K, K series share these features as well. 
a slow key cover. No pinching little fingers. A practice mute. Press the middle pedal down and over, and the tone is... Takes away 90% of the volume so you can play at any time of day or night and not bother anyone. Lastly, a height adjustable bench. If you have children, that's a great feature, or uh, anybody has to be very tall in the family, that's wonderful to be able to adjust the height of your piano bench. So these are features that all pianos, all Kawai K series pianos share. And what I'm going to do is end this segment by playing the K200 because we feel it's a perfect family piano. It has a nice warm tone for the home. Most people are not aware that Kawai actually has two manufacturing plants, their original one in Japan, of course, and one that they built about 25 to 30 years ago in Indonesia, which they built specifically to offer Kawai quality at a lower cost. The K200s are built in their Indonesian plant. The Kawai K300, which we're going to look at next, is the first series vertical that's actually built in the Japanese factory. The K300 is a 48-inch professional studio piano. Because it's three inches taller than the K200, it has the obvious advantages of longer strings and a larger soundboard for a bigger, richer tone. Let's take a look at the back of the piano so we can see a couple of other step-up features. The K300 features five back posts instead of four for extra strength. Secondly, it has two contour bars, one in the upper right-hand corner and one in the far lower left-hand corner to reflect tone back to the center of the sensitive part of the soundboard. And lastly, it features casters that are, have two wheels or a double caster rather than a single caster for e more ease of rolling the piano around. Most importantly, we think the K300 is good enough as a practice instrument for a professional musician, uh, somebody serious about their piano. It's a fine sounding instrument. Let's listen. big rich tone. Let's now look at the K500, Kawhi's professional upright piano. Any piano that's 50 inches or taller we call a professional upright. This would be a piano that would have string length as large or longer than many baby grand pianos. Uh, so we feel if you want the tone and, and power of a grand piano in an upright cabinet, then a professional upright is for you. Some of the step-up features of the K500 would be, of course, being 51 inches, it's got longer strings and a larger soundboard than the K300 by three inches. In addition, it has a feature called Neotex on the keys surfaces itself. Neotex is actually a plant fiber. Uh, it gives you a little bit of grit to the feel when you're playing the keys. It also uh, is antibacterial, which is nice in this day and age. Lastly, they use something called duplex scaling, which you find in many grand pianos. What that gives this particular piano is a bolder, brighter sound, particularly in the treble section. Let's listen.
that is a really big sound. So if you want a grand piano-like tone and you don't have the space for it, then the Kawai K500 is your choice. So why don't you come on into Taylor's and see why Kawai's motto is the world's most advanced piano.